Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is on the Tantric Mod by Vaporite. Alright guys, so this is the Tantric Digital Vaporizer by Vaporite.com. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the kit comes with. This is a 3-in-1, just like the V2 Pro 7 that I reviewed. It is um, a 3-in-1. It does e-liquid, concentrates, and herbal vaping. Of course, today we are focusing only on the e-liquid aspect of this device. So in the kit, you have a giant micro USB cable, some little screens, a 510 to Ego adapter, a really nice glass mouthpiece, and this piece, which I'm not sure what it is yet, I've never seen it before, so we'll find out together, and the device itself, and it's actually really freaking pretty, really beautiful finish on it. Here is the screen, the fire button, the regulatory buttons, we have some battery venting down here as well as a charging port. It does have an internal battery. Now here is the top portion. So there is a chamber for dry herbs right here and the 510 connection. So clicking it three times changes it. There's oil, which I think is AKA e-liquid, BHO, oil, where's herb? Oh. See, it's a little tricky doing it in the camera, but you saw the H-E-R, that stands for herb. So three clicks changes the setting in there. That is four watts, and then the button changes it. So let's see how high this goes. So it goes up to 30 watts, and it doesn't do the toggle. Like if you hold the regulatory buttons down, it doesn't toggle through, you have to click them. And even though we're not gonna use it in the dry herb or concentrate mode, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with that mouthpiece on it. I think it looks really pretty. Like the glass mouthpiece just makes this device look really awesome. And when it is in herb mode or concentrate mode, you can adjust the temperature on it. Instead of the wattage, you can adjust by temperature. All right, so I have it on wattage. I have my target atomizer here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up because it's actually empty and then I'll go ahead and put it on this mod and we'll try it out. And I did notice this has kind of the shape of the Cool Fire 4, but it's really smooth and I really, really like this design and it's super lightweight. And I'm going to fill my target atomizer with the sugar cookie by You Got E Juice, which I reviewed yesterday because it is so freaking good and I have a huge bottle of it. You can see that the atomizer kind of hangs over the edge there for the e liquid portion, but with the mouth, but with the herb or oil portion, it would be like flush and fit just fine on the mod. So, just show you guys kind of what it looks like all around on this guy. Real quick, I will let you guys know it, when you turn it on, it says O-N for on. When you turn it off, it says off for, it says O-F-F -F for off. I mean, those are pretty simple. And when you're charging it, it says C-H-G across the screen. That's for charging. The B-H-O symbol is for when it's in wax mode. The H-E-R mode is for when it's in herbal vaping mode. And the O-I-L or oil mode is for when it is e-liquid. If you try to fire it and it says L-B, that stands for low battery and you need to charge your device. When it reads L0.0, .0, that means you need to replace the coil. It is not suitable for that device. You need to switch it out. And if it says NON, stands for non, which means it is not making contact with the atomizer there. Initially, it suggests that you charge your device for four hours and then any recharging afterwards to charge fully will take three, two to three hours. And you wanna make sure not to put any liquid in the herb chamber or it can damage the device. So to turn it on, you push the power button five times fast. And if you don't use it within two minutes, it will go into a lock mode and turn off. And this does have a 10 second cutoff when in oil mode. It also comes equipped with a puff counter for those of you who like to know. To view the ohms of the atomizer you're using, you just press the up and down keys. This little kit actually didn't come with a user's manual and I had to peek at the user's manual before online to see it. So there's a user's manual online, but it didn't come with like a little booklet. And this can also handle down to 0.3 ohms, but no less than. Yum. Shh. 
Now I didn't actually initially charge this thing and for something that is probably not fully charged at the very beginning it's performing quite well. Let's try some different atomizers on it. So I decided to put my eye sub on here. It is a 0.5 coil. Oh, I've missed this eye sub. I've missed the eye sub coils. I've forgotten how much I really liked them. Shall we try it with something that's non sub ohm? That's something I haven't done in a long time. All right, so I got my little GS16S atomizer by E Leaf. It is not a sub ohm tank, and I put the sugar cookie e liquid in here as well. I have it down at 10 watts. I might even turn it a little bit lower for this guy. So, this device is probably geared more towards those who want to herbal vape or wax vape or concentrate or whatever, and then maybe vape e liquid on the side. That's a brand new coil. I should have waited for it to wick up. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty finding the right, the sweet spot for this guy because it's been a long time since I've used uh, this. It's vaping all right. I mean, I used to love this thing before the invention of sub ohm. If you're interested in checking out this device for yourself, I will put a link below. And if you want to get it, I believe. I'm not sure if it's just this mod or the entire store, but if you use the code TIA VAPES, you can get 20% off your order. I do not herbal vape or concentrate vape, so I probably won't continue to use this. Probably give it to the VAB spa or indoor smokers to try out in that area. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second vlog channel here on YouTube where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not necessarily vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. So really, who out there likes those 3-in-1s? Comment below if you definitely could use a 3-in-1 vaping device.